Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It has been busy busy around here of course as usual. I'm still trying to get things ready to go for going to the hospital. It still hasn't happened because either I'm just too tired or Mary distracts me or other things happen. It's all over the place. But if you can't hear right now I'm currently making lunch. I'm making hamburger steak because it's the easiest thing to do right now. Yeah. And I just hope Mary eats it. She's been on this kick lately where she just won't eat anything that I serve her. Like anything, even if she loves it. She's just like, nope, I don't want to eat that. No. Nope. And just won't eat. Or she won't eat her portion, but she'll eat either Naoki's portion or my portion and then not touch hers at all. So, yeah, it's a bit frustrating, but that's a toddler for you. Anyways, my hair is still holding up from me getting my straight perm. And yeah, quite enjoying it, not having to really do anything with it. So nice to just wake up and be like, oh, my hair is ready to go. Yay! Literally, I didn't do anything to it to this morning except for put a pin in it. Yeah, and so happy about that because that's what I need in my life. I don't even know if you can hear Mary running upstairs around everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I hope he's up there with her, but like. She's been obsessed with being upstairs today, even though there's not really anything up there for her. Her playroom is down here, so yeah. Today's plans are one, we have to go to a car shop because we need to change the oil in the car. And I think we're gonna have them look at one of our tires because it keeps losing air slowly, but it just keeps losing air and we don't know why even though we just replaced the tires last year. It shouldn't be this soon when we have to replace a new tire. Yeah, so I'm a bit suspicious about that. But since I don't know Japanese, I can't really like do a whole lot about it. It's all about Naoki doing it. So I'm leaving that up to him. But after that, we're gonna go to the in-laws and see them. We haven't seen them in very long time now and so much happening my rice just beeped so that's ready and mary is throwing stuff down the stairs mary what are you throwing down the stairs clothes pins why can you pick them up and put them in the basket yeah. Clean up. And the ume are coming into bloom. Yay, this is a tree right outside my house. So beautiful. Well, we have made it to our locomotive place. Yellow hat again, but yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, I tried to see if they still had their like little play area upstairs and if it was actually open or not but they actually have gotten rid of it completely and yeah so no more play space for kids like Mevi <laughs> so we're just going to play in the car for right now but yeah we might go to the convenience store here in a second though just because I'm craving some ice cream. Yeah, not that the, the convenience store really has what I want. I actually want like soft serve ice cream and I know they don't have that, but maybe it's just like the sweetness thing that I really want. So I can easily curb that with some other type of ice cream.
Ice cream, let's see. Pino is always a good one to go for. Hmm. Ooh, this looks really good. Chocolate with chocolate. We got our ice cream. Okay, me and you are sharing. We got a chocolate vanilla cone. Yeah, Maddie? <laughs> Let's get your hair. Mm. Yummy? Mmm. It was just so much easier sitting out here because inside it was like really warm by the windows. I was not feeling it. But that looks good too. No, that's daddy's though, Mary. You have a cone right here. And I bet you would eat all of it too. Yeah. I should have grabbed some that. But I have some wipes we can use. Yeah. I have some wipes. Can our mommy have the bite? Um. today so ice cream is a good choice yeah it's not summertime warm but wintertime warm if you know what I mean <laughs> Mary you have two ice creams now which one is number one yeah. that one <laughs> yeah that's a caramel one Oh, back to daddy? Okay. Well, Mary fully enjoyed her ice cream and daddy's ice cream. I only got a few bites out of my cone. Hello. <laughs> but that's fine. I think she needed something to snack on. But she, of course, likes to run away from us and she ran away and happened to find a random park yeah like she has kid instincts for sure like to run the correct way to find a random park so now we're playing in the park for a little bit before we head back to the car shop to pick up the car <laughs> yeah, jump, jump. <laughs> Making our way outside of the uh, supermarket. The whole family trekking with all of the groceries. So we just got home. It's like 9 p.m. And the reason I'm trying to keep my voice down is because Naoki is upstairs trying to put Mary to sleep. And if she can even hear a small echo of my voice, she might whine and wake up and not want to go to sleep without me. Yeah. So, I am trying to be quiet so that she 
she will go back to sleep but she fell asleep as soon as we pulled out of the parking lot she was like gone yeah so i'm hoping she stays asleep up in the room which i doubt she'll probably wake back up around midnight yeah because that's just her sleeping pattern right now she thinks it's a nap time because she didn't have a nap today so yeah but i'm hoping she gets out of that habit very soon because she's going to need to sleep all night so that she can get up at a decent time in the morning to go to kindergarten yeah but that also is on me for not always getting her up early to go to kindergarten we need to be up at like seven or she needs to be up by seven i need to be up earlier so i can make her lunch every day because they don't do school lunch at my kindergarten so yeah i'll have to get up earlier and make sure her lunch is ready and since i'm doing her lunch i'll probably make naoki's lunch at the same time they'll probably be the same thing or close to the same kind of lunch but yeah that's gonna be fun for me i'll probably have to wake up at least at six o'clock to make her lunches every day which i mean once you get into the habit of it it's really not that bad but it's also just about going to bed at a decent time and i haven't been doing that lately i can't believe i'm like 36 weeks pregnant now yeah it's crazy like mary was born at 37 weeks and like five days or something really close to 38 and um yeah so there's that little bit of like anxiety and being like oh my god am i going to have a baby next week <laughs> kind of thing yeah so I'm trying really hard to get things ready, even though things still aren't ready. I feel so underprepared, but at the same time, I'm just really not in the mood or have any motivation to do anything. Yeah. But at the same time, I know that once baby is here, I will have time I say this now, I will have time to do things like getting last minute things together versus now. It's not that I don't have time now, it's just I can't, I can't even really move. Like it just hurts. Even just sitting here like this, it hurts kind of. Yeah. And that's just being pregnant. I don't know if you can see really well my stomach, yeah, and it's just ugh, but it's just hard sitting in general. I usually like lounge back on the couch. That's pretty much the only position that's actually comfortable for me unless I'm laying down on my side. But then even when I'm sleeping on my side, I only get about an hour of sleep before I'm woken up with pain in my hips or in my pelvic area because of the position, like, because I have really wide hips. So yeah, then I have to turn over either onto my back for a little bit or just go straight over to the other side like it's never ending but i mean hopefully i this baby will be a good sleeper i'm i'm really hoping mary was a good sleeper so that kind of means this baby is not going to be a good sleeper which i'm dreading mary spoiled me for a good sleep because she would sleep really really well and it always scared me because of SIDS and everything but at the same time I was so happy that she would sleep a lot most of the time I'd say but standing for more than 20 minutes or walking around for 20 minutes 
I start to get really bad pain in my lower stomach and that's because baby is starting to like settle further and further down and yeah but if I just sit down for like 10 minutes usually the pain goes away and I can get back up and go for another 20 minutes but that's if I can like lounge back and actually relax which is most of the case not the case but yeah I mean what else can I do about that nothing really but I think that's all for today's video guys I'm so happy you came to join me today I haven't been vlogging a lot mainly just because I'm stuck at home I'm not doing anything there's really no change in my routine and what I've been doing you all know me <laughs> pretty well by now especially if you've seen any of my past videos so i will leave you here and i will talk to you in my in next vlog which will most likely be a baby appointment thing and yeah looking forward to it but not looking forward to it at the same time because there's not a whole lot of change i mean same old, same old. <laughs> but I like documenting my journey with my pregnancy because it's kind of like a reminder later for myself of what I went through. And it also helps you guys if you're having kids in Japan and what you can expect to kind of go through. So yeah. And looks like Mary finally fell asleep. So I'll see you guys and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.